Tim, that's Guillermo. Guillermo's doing an experiment. We have the lab work back. His testosterone has been suppressed from the natural level of over 800 down to 300. So we want to know what kind of PCT in this circumstance would, might work for uh, Guillermo. So PCT, when you're considering what method to use or how hard to go, how aggressive you should be, depends on the age, depends on what compounds they use, and de but most importantly, what was the health of their hormone system prior to starting any kind of other hormone. So I'm not pervy to all the information as far as uh, it is for Guerrero. I don't know um, what his LH was, his stimulation. Um, I'm gonna assume that it was, he wasn't working too hard to get that 803 number. He's a young guy. He's working to get more fit, make himself healthier. So I don't think I need an aggressive approach with that. I would put him on tamoxifen only, maybe uh, for a month to six weeks. Start him at 40 milligrams, taper him down to 10, 20 milligrams. Uh, washout period will be about a month after your last dose. Check your levels. I would check your levels during, of course, because we want to make sure we're not overstimulating. So we check the LH levels to make sure that they're still within normal range because we don't want to put pressure on the pituitary. And then, uh, once we verify that, keep them on it for about four to six weeks, and then we will check them about 30, 35 days after his last dose, and he should be on his own. That should represent what his real numbers are.